In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D isometric design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, a zigzag shape appears and then the first option along with the percentage and below the detailed text will appear. Then it goes for the second option, the third option, fourth and fifth. And you can use this uh, particular slide for a variety of reasons like timeline or uh, company growth, etc. And apart from that one, I have created one more slide with a smaller, the, design, the same with a smaller design and uh, without any animation. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this particular slide without animation. So let's start. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes and select the hollow circle and draw the circle while holding the shift key so that you get a perfect round shape and using this small orange point just reduce the width maybe this much size or i can reduce further and then shape outline make it no outline and then go to format align center align middle and then i'm just going to cut uh, this one uh, the bottom part i'm just going to keep the top part for that i go to insert shape select a rectangle draw a rectangle covering the bottom part of the circle and then select the circle first and then the hold the shift key and select the rectangle go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting the semicircle here just put this side press ctrl d to duplicate it go to rotate and flip vertical just put it here then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d and just put one two more here and last ctrl d one more here so you can see here i have added five semicircles and i have arranged in this a zigzag way and make sure to zoom in and you can see here that is not properly aligned so you have to align it so let me just do one thing remove the guides that will help me to arrange it properly or use the arrow key so you can see here and then i'm just going to arrange the second part so this is also perfect if you don't do this one then the the design will not look good so you have to make sure that this is properly aligned and i believe this is the last one yes so you can see here i have aligned these objects properly now I'm going to select all the objects. You can press Ctrl A to select all the objects. Go to Format, Merge Shape and just say Union. And then I'm going to give a 3D uh, effect for this. Right mouse click, go to Format, Shape and go to Effects. And you have got the 3D rotation. And I'm going to select uh, this one which is ax Off Axis to Top. So you can see here you got this particular uh, uh effect and then i'll just go to 3d format i'm going to increase the depth of this so you can see here the depth is coming and then i can just simply go to again 3d rotation can you see this y rotation if i just click here it i can just change it something like this so you can see here i've got this particular shape and I'm just going to change the background to some blue color background. And this one, I'm just going to make it a white color. And then you can go back to effects again and you can play with this uh, contour and the depth. For example, uh, sorry, not for that, uh, this one, the material and lightning. So this one, I will select maybe this and maybe this so you can see here we have got the 3d 
shape ready now now we can add the options there so i'm going to add some oval shape in between the zigzag uh, for that go to insert shapes select an oval shape or draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and then go to effects and here i'm going to select uh, the 3d rotation uh, this one which is perspective relaxed moderately and then go to the 3d format increase the depth and then just put one here Control d to group it put one more here Control d and the last one Control d this side so now i'm going to just put some uh, more options on top of this now i'm going to add some percentages for each uh, this curve for that i'm just going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size more smaller and then go to format change the color to some other color maybe this color and then you go to effects here the depth you can increase to maybe 80 so you can see here you got this effect i'm just going to put it here and i believe uh, we can just change this lighting effect to make it more uh, presentable so let me just check if i can make it more better this is not looking good so I believe the one which we did I think that is okay I believe so all are not that good anyway let it be like this and then press ctrl D bring this side here and I'm going to change the color to some different color and then again based on your requirement you can increase or decrease maybe I'll just degree increase to say 100 this one so it is more bigger than the first one and again put it in the center of the white foundation again control d so this one i'm going to reduce it and before that let me just change the color i will say this instead of 100 i'll just say 40 And then again, you can increase it or decrease it up to your requirement. I will just make it more bigger, 120. And I'm going to change the color to some other color, maybe this color, Control D. And this will be only say 35, for example. and i've added this here exactly in the center and i'm going to change the color to some other color which is maybe this already i have used maybe this color all right so now you can see here i have added the options and then again if you want to add some more things on the top for example let me just show you press ctrl d select this one and I'm going to make it, for example, say the size is 20 only. And I'm going to make it shape fill as white. And here I'm just going to this one, this option. Can you see transparent, transculent powder? So I'm just going to put it on top of this. You can see here it look like somewhat transparent effect there. and you have to align it properly that you can do it uh, when you're putting the percentages there so you can see here the design is almost ready now it's time to add some percentages and the text now let me just put some percentages here 
I'll just go and put for example the first one is say 45 percent and I'm going to use the font called impact but anyway it's depend on your choice and just I'm going to put 45 percent here this is bigger I'm just going to put maybe 65 percent and then I'm just going to put this is smaller one just say this one is just uh, 30 percent for example so likewise just put the percentages uh, of your uh, as per your requirement and then just add the detailed text here go to insert text box you can add title here I'll just say your text here make it bold and then below you can just add so I'm just going to add some detailed text reduce the size center aligned and put it here and I'm just going to group this control G control D to duplicate the one I'm just going to put up and down because of space issue we cannot put it together so you can see here our design is ready that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye